hello everyone. Uh, I know usually when you receive e-news, you receive a write-up uh, from uh, me or Pastor Melissa. And I thought uh, in this edition of e-news, I would uh, post a video instead of writing to you. And I, I wanted to do that because of course, I'm very conscious this is gonna be the longest period of time that I've ever been away from the church. Uh, it's gonna be five weeks that I'm gonna be away. Um, Melissa and I, um, and some of our kids are heading away uh, this coming Saturday. We're gonna be gone for just under two weeks on holiday to New South Wales. And then on, uh, Friday, no, Thursday the 6th of July, probably very late in the evening, we'll come back uh, home. Uh, on Friday the 7th, uh, I'll pack for Africa. And then on the 8th of, uh, Saturday the 8th of July, uh, Sal, Bethany, Duke and I will board uh, an Ethiopian Airlines uh, plane. Uh, to Hong Kong, and then uh, from Hong Kong to Addis Ababa, Addis Ababa to Bujumbura, Burundi. And uh, we'll be meeting uh, Craig Reese and uh, the American team. There are five members of the American team. And then we'll be going straight into uh, camps with uh, the Sister Connection team uh, who are there on the ground in Burundi. And we'll be, of course, running uh, four camps uh, the first of those will be actually the, the teenagers uh, camp uh, and then there'll be the widows and children's camp and then there'll be uh, the young adults camp. We'll be then back to Bujumbura and then uh, Dr. Sothsin is going to meet us uh, and then uh, the four of us will travel back with Dr. Sothsin. We'll have to uh, do border checks, uh, go across into the Congo. And then when we're in the Congo, uh, we'll spend time uh, with the hospital team. And then uh, we'll be going into the prison where last year we provided nearly 700,000 meals through our missions program. We'll be involved with uh, the rehabilitation, of course, of uh, young women who unfortunately have been raped and shunned by society. And we're, we're providing vocational education skills, uh, great support, literally helping them get their lives back on track. And then uh, I have the great uh, privilege uh, of preaching in Pastor uh, uh, sorry, uh, Dr. Sothsin's home church, which is a very large church. Uh, thousands and thousands of people attend. And then uh, on that final Monday, we will come back across the border, back into Burundi, uh, have our final night uh, back in Bujumbura, and then we'll start making the very long trip. Uh, takes us about 26, 28 hours. Uh, to get back home and we'll arrive back home uh, on the 27th of July. We are asking for your prayers uh, for the time. Uh, we want to be a blessing uh, to our partners and uh, we want to learn lots. Uh, we want to have eyes open uh, to see what the Lord wants us to see. Of course, uh, if you would like to support this trip, you can support each of the individuals who are going. Of course, it's cost each person uh, in excess of $6,000 to go. And, uh, you know, that's a lot of money. And so if there's uh, a way that you'd like to support each of the people going, you can. That, how to do that is in e-news. But of course, as a team, we are hoping to be able to meet on the ground need that we see in partnership with our on the ground partners. So um, we are actually hoping to have some cash with us. And as we can do something uh, then and there on the ground, we're hoping to. And if you would like to contribute to us being able to do that, well, it, the best way to do that is give via EFT, not by Tithely, but via EFT, uh, and put on the reference just simply Africa, 
If you do that, um, David and Dorini will know that that's to go to the team to give to our partners or give as a team, we'll give to those points of need. Any of the cash that we do not use, we will leave with our partners for them to use at their discretion. And uh, it would be wonderful uh, for you to help us out in that way. So, so thank you, thank you so much. You know, we've been talking about, I will give you rest. I will give you rest. And I just want to encourage you, own this a promise of Jesus. He, he talks about an immediate rest, and then he talks about rest in your soul, which is a lifetime of rest. It's, it's learning to enter into, in your mind, will, and emotions, in your soul, that place of rest that he promises. And I, I want to encourage you, keep pressing in, keep pressing in, keep premise, pressing into those, to those promises. I know this Sunday, David Gooey is going to bring an extraordinary word. And I, I want you to lean in as, as David preaches. And then, of course, through the first four weeks of July, my dear friend and our great, great, you know, real friend of the church, Pastor Mark Bates, for four Sundays in a row, is going to be bringing a word to the church. Now, Pastor Mark is the State Secretary for Australian Christian Churches Victoria. Pastor Mark gets, um, you know, invitations to preach at churches both very large and small all over Victoria and indeed Australia. And the fact that Pastor Mark would set aside his time to preach it in Church Melbourne for basically the month of July is a real gift to us all. And I, I just want to encourage your family, be expectant, invite your friends, invite your enemies, invite your, you know, your neighbours, whoever, but make sure you're in church. And uh, as I said on Sunday, hey, you wouldn't be, if someone was invited to your home, you wouldn't be late for them to come. So I just want to encourage you, get to church on time um, and on time's five minutes early. Um, so, you know, you know, we just want to encourage you. Let's, let, hey, let's showcase in Church Melbourne with having a, a guest preacher in the house for the next month. And, uh, you know, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's just press in and see what the Lord's going to do as the man of God brings the word of God, you know, through the month of July. You'll hear more about this, but on the 23rd of July, we're going to take up another heart for his house offering. We're needing to do this family. Um, you know, it's wonderful how much money we've raised for our land and building fund. But in terms of our loan and how much money we need to raise as a deposit for the building, we're needing to raise more for the deposit. You know, we're, we're needing to have around the 700,000 uh, mark and we're around the 400,000 mark. So we're needing to press on, we're needing to push on uh, with doing that. And so, you know, the team, they'll, they'll speak to you more, the board will talk to you more, but we're needing to pray, we're needing to press in, but we need to continue to push on as we believe for God to open up a home of our own this year. Family, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about, and it's a little bit serious, and uh, and but you need to hear my heart always. Melissa and I love you. We're proud of you. We're proud of the generosity of this church. But we have always said it. It is only a strong church that can do missions strong. We are one of the most generous churches for our size that I know. And in actual fact, we have people all around, particularly around Melbourne and Victoria, marvel at the fact that a church of our size does what we do. And I, I praise God for that. But family, in terms of our tithing, we've had um, something of a bit of a crash uh, over the last uh, few months. In fact, um, year to date, we are nearly 25 to 30,000 under what we need to be. Now, what that represents in real terms is a staff position, almost nearly two staff part-time staff positions. 
This last week, for the first time in In Church Melbourne's history, Doreeny came to me and said, Pastor, uh, we do not have enough in the general account to pay for salaries. We're going to have to take money out of our reserve funds, which is for future entitlements. So we keep money aside for annual leave and for long leave. We've never had to touch that fund. And this week we had to. I have spoken to our pastors and leaders uh, after church last Sunday, but I've had to say this. July is a five week su Sunday month. Before I get back from uh, uh, Africa, I'll come back on the fifth Sunday of July. My prayer is, is that we can put back the money we took out of uh, the uh, that fund, that, that, that leave fund, and that we can be back to budget. If we cannot do that, then I'm unfortunately going to be in a situation where in August, I am going to have to look at staffing. And that's the last thing that I want to do. Because as I look at our team, we run a lean team. And uh, you know, our, our team is to bless the whole church. Um, but I simply can't continue to manage things with, you know, pretending there isn't an issue when um, if giving doesn't increase, um, w you know, we need some, w w there's some, we just need to do something. Family, I don't get this because statistically our numbers have dramatically increased and I'm not understanding why our giving has not either maintained or increased. And in actual fact, the giving has decreased, not increased. And so, um, you know, Melissa and I, we've actually tried to increase uh, our giving. And, uh, you know, some weeks, if we had not increased our giving, uh, well, you know, the church wouldn't, would be in a, in, in a much worse situation. So I'm sorry I'm ending on this note, but I'm needing to, because you need to understand we must be faithful and consistent in giving. Tithing, tithing is simply my first 10%, uh, at least. It's my first 10%. That's what I believe biblically. Um, it is before all my other expenses, the first thing I do and when I'm doing up my budget is the first 10% I give it to God. And I do that week after week after week. Melissa and I have always done at least that. And uh, we've seen God bless the rest. And so, family, I, I just simply want to ask you, please be faithful in your giving. Please be faithful. Talk to God. Ask Him. Um, you know, we're talking about you know, a future home and taking out loans and all of those things. Well, I have to say to you, you know, it's very hard for us to take out a loan if at the same time I'm looking at having to go, well, can we afford the staff we have? Um, so, you know, the, you know, it's a, it's a sober moment, you know, for us where we're just, we're just sort of looking at this now, you know, God's got it. I believe he has, you know, our future's bright. You know, I praise God, you know, for the faith and the direction that we have. But family, um, you know, hear my heart, hear my pastoral heart. I love you. I'm grateful for you. Um, but um, I, I'm asking everyone in the church, do what you can to be faithful and consistent in the way that you, particularly the way that you tithe, um, because we we need that Um to be consistent. Well, love your family. Look forward to seeing you in about five weeks time. And, uh, you know, love, love from our family to your family. Go well, be blessed and expect God to move over these next five weeks. Hey, take care. God bless.